We all know of Dale DeGroff as the king of craft cocktails, but is his Yellowbird cocktail any good? My name's David Edwards and welcome to Booze on the Rocks. And today we're going to make obviously the Yellowbird cocktail. And I'm referencing his new Craft of the Cocktail book, but you can also find it here in his original Craft of the Cocktail book. Now, there are two slight differences in just the wording of the uh, cocktail. And you'll see here that in the newer version, he denotes it as a cocktail created by him, possibly a misprint in the original. And you'll also notice that he calls for Mount Gay Eclipse Rum, which is a Barbados rum. However, I don't have that access. And in the original book, he showed just rum. So one of the things that you'll notice is that many people use a white rum or a clear rum just to get a bright, intense yellow color versus trying to get you something with a little bit more depth of flavor. And that's probably why he went with that Barbados rum. Now, because I don't have that Barbados rum, we're going to use a little bit of Appleton Reserve, eight-year-old. It's a Jamaican rum. The next thing we're going to use is a Pierre Ferrand. This is a dry orange curacao, so there's not much sweetness to it. But a lot of our sweetness is brought in with the Galliano vanilla, and that's a 30% ABV. Now, the final thing you're going to need is a little bit of lime juice. And we're going to start with this lime juice by first peeling a swath for our garnish and trimming it up nicely. Then we'll cut it in half and squeeze out three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters into the glass. Your next ingredient is the Galliano. And this is where we're going to get some of the bright yellow color, but we're also going to get some sweet vanilla notes. And we're going to start with a simple half an ounce or 15 milliliters. So we've already begun to get our intense yellow color. However, it is going to be dulled down by our next two spirit in our liqueur. But we're going to add our Pierre Ferrand Dry Curacao. This will give us those orange notes and it is drier, so you'll lose some of the sweetness. And that's three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Next, you're gonna use some rum. Having said that, what you're going to do is use the rum of your choice. If you want it straight, go with a silver rum, something that'll give you that bright yellow look. However, if you want those flavors, those nuances of something that you really like, like the funkiness of a Jamaican rum, or maybe a sweetness, or something that's a little grassy or vegetal, play around with it, test it out, and see what you can come up with. Now, we are gonna use two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now it's obviously not as yellow as you'd like it to be, but it does smell fantastic. And if you have a favorite combination of any of these, please leave a comment down below. So what we'll do now is we will shake this for a good 10 to 15 seconds, just to chill it down really good and give ourselves just the right amount of dilution that we're looking for. So slap this on hard, give it a flip, and shake it with a smile. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of a thousand limes, put this off to the side, and grab yourself a cocktail glass. Now, I'm choosing to use a martini glass. You can use whatever you want. I just wanna feel special and dress this up slightly. So what we will do, however, is we will fine strain this to keep out any little ice crystals. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. So grab your garnish, just put it onto the glass, just like that. And here you have a fantastic yellow bird, but we're not done yet. What I'm going to do is just speed it up a little bit and I'm going to make the exact same cocktail for you, but I'm going to use a little bit of white rum. So bear with me. Now, again, your ingredients are gonna to be totally up to you. You're gonna to get to enjoy every single ingredient that you want, but play around with it. And this is the thing about craft cocktails. You can actually do whatever you want with them. It was at this moment that David realized he forgot to add the rum and had to make the cocktail again. One eternity later. Yeah, pop that off with the strength of the light rum that I've had to re-add because now I have lots of cocktails to drink. Aha. However, we're gonna put this in the same glass and what we'll do is just 
pour this in like so. Oh, look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. And that is a yellow bird as well. So look at them. Two gorgeous yellow birds, two different in color, and two different in flavor just by the rum. So let's try the white rum first. Mmm. Mmm. Really good. You get the rum, you get the orange, you get the galliano. Building this together in the lime just holds it all together beautifully. But let's try the slightly different version. Oh yeah, the Jamaican rum stands out loud and proud in it. And I can see why he suggested using something that other than a light rum. What I will do is I'll put the ingredients and method for both of these down in the description. Please let me know exactly what you think we should do differently. And if you like other rum cocktails, take a look right here and I know they'll find a couple that you really like.